aka hey you guys i am back with another video for those of you that are tuning in for the very first time i am latersa and on this channel we talk a lot about self-care hygiene lifestyle life updates i mean life advice and all those good things so if you are new here welcome if you are a returning um, member of the Sunny Squad, make sure you go ahead and hashtag below Sunny Squad with two sunshines. All you have to do to become a part of the sun Sunny Squad is to just subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your bell notifications because I don't want you to miss another episode. So let's jump right into it. I'm not going to pause this video. I'm going to get this video out to you guys. This is my hygiene tips that i think every woman should know this is a part of the hygiene feminine hygiene shower routine and i like to give you guys tips and stuff especially when i find stuff that works right or whatever the case may be so when you're in the shower you first want to lather your body up and i didn't bring my dial soap but this is the dial body wash but i use the dial white bar soap antibacterial soap if you don't have anything else in your house if you have dial you are still a-okay because dial is going to get you right honey so lather that up i don't need to show you guys how to lather the soap up on your towel it's old now you guys have been watching me for a while now but if you if you are unclear i'll leave some links to videos of my previous shower routines to show you how I lather my to me, if I don't see the lather, I don't think it's doing nothing. So I lather my towel up really well, wash my body thoroughly about two to three times, you guys, and specifically around the neck and the underarm. Y'all know I always talk about using a brush to make sure you get all the gump in between. If you got crevices under your arm like I do, you need something else besides a wash rag to get, make sure you get all the old residue of deodorant off because that could be a reason why you're still having an odor under your arm because it's not properly clean. So I take this, this is my Duval um, body brush that I use and it spins around. Let me see if you guys can see it. It spins around like this. And this is what I use up under my arm. I use the one from Dollar Tree too, but a lot of you guys said that one is hard. But it doesn't bother me. But for those of you that are sensitive, a little sensitive, I highly recommend this. I've been using this for about six months now. And I use it mainly on my back and under my arms and my elbows. Places where it tend to get a little... You know, so I use this with any one of my, you can use, sorry about that, but you can use this with your dial body wash your soap or whatever. It, it works wonders, you guys. And I do this just about every time I take a shower. And so when you're scrubbing under your arms, once you got a clean base, you guys, that's when you can do all the fun stuff, but we're still cleaning. So you got to make sure you are showering properly. And so to clean my butterfly down there, I use the, do the Dove Sensitive. Y'all know I've been using this for years and it doesn't irritate my skin. It It's very moisturizing. That's why I like Dove Sensitive for down there because it's moisturizing. So it's not going to dry me out and all that good stuff. So I highly recommend you get this. You can get this for a dollar at your local Dollar Tree. Um, and just wash your butterfly really, really well. Wash her really good because a lot of times you're having odor because you're not cleaning properly. It's not that you're not using the right the odors or anything like that. If you don't have a clean base to work with, you can forget all the smell goods, forget all that stuff because this is not going to be necessary because it's just going to be smell goods on top of funk. And then when you mix them two together, honey, that's it will knock you out. Do you hear me? So make sure you're taking care of your butterfly, you guys, because you only get one, and that is the most prized, precious gem that you have on your body, and you got to take good care of it. And then when it comes to uh, my backside, y'all know my holy grail is the original Irish Spring Body Wash. It's paraben-free, which is a good thing, but I love to use this stuff on my backside. I let my backside soak while I'm washing the other parts. And don't forget behind your ears, your neck, um, in between your butt cheeks. Yeah, I know I said butt cheeks, but in between, in between your butt cheeks and 
And then in between your toes and your heels, if you missed last week's self-care routine, I did my pedicure and I showed you guys how I was able to get my, my heels really soft. Make sure you are taking the time to really clean. That's why I say sometimes you may have to get up a couple of minutes earlier than what you used to because if you're nine to five like me, you, you, you got a busy day already. Like eight hours of your day is already gone. And so I get up every morning faithfully, every morning through the week, 4.30. It's like my body is clockwork. I turn over at least 3.30 because it's like I go to bed with the chickens, you guys. I go to bed. At, <laughs> I be in the bed at 6.30 because, you know, I like to get all my stuff done, get the kids situated. They're teenagers now. They don't need me like every second of the day like if I had smaller kids. Praise God for teenagers. But I'm in my zone at 6.30. About 7.30, I'm like dozing in la-la land. So... I'm in the bed pretty early because I know I'm an early riser. So I need my eight hours of sleep. If I don't get my eight hours of sleep, your girl is not a happy camper. But when I do that, that's my clean base. And then so my first tip that every woman needs to know is after you showered, you need to do that at least twice a day, the morning and the evening. That's number one. And then the fun part is... The last step of your shower, well, at least twice a week, um, exfoliate. That's going to help keep that skin soft. And I got two options for you. I have this one, which is the She Aromatherapy Coconut Oil and Berry Sugar Scrub. I really love this, but it is really runny and sticky, you guys. I'm halfway through with it. I got this from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. TJ Maxx, yeah. And then this one is a part of the Simple Truth brand from Kroger's. It's the Whipped Soaps and Scrub Coconut Papaya. This one, if you got really, really sensitive skin, this is going to be your best friend because it's very soft and gentle. This one has a little sugar in it, but it's so oily, it's not as rough as well. So you got two options there to really um, work with because exfoliating helps you keep that glow in your skin. Y'all see this? This is all come from exfoliating, but you got to do it at least twice a week. I wouldn't recommend it doing three to four times because you're going to dry your skin out. But exfoliation puts that, gets rid of the dead skins and help you to get more of your, your, um, your glow skin on the top. So that's, that's that. And then the next thing you want to do after you shower, well, the next tip is Throughout the day, you know, you well, the first tip is be sure to put on enough deodorant. Sometimes you get musty because you ain't put on enough deodorant. I've been guilty of that. I'm serious, you guys. And <laughs> speaking of that, I was trying that natural deodorant, um, guys. So here's a story for you guys. Y'all know a few months back, I, I got this. It was in, I think it was after Christmas sale haul or whatever. And I got the natural form of the healthy deodorant, vanilla water for peace, la, la vanilla, uh, whatever you want to call it. But it smells good. I mean, it smells really good. It does what it needs to do. But hear me when I say, I didn't put enough of this on. So the first time I wore it all day, I was good. When I tell you I had this stuff caked up under my arm, because you know natural deodorants, when you first start using them, they be doing the most. <laughs> they be letting your secret out. But how about I didn't put enough on the second day and I kept smelling something. I'm like, wait a minute. I know that ain't me. But you know they, you know what they always say now? You know what they always say? If you smell it, it's more than likely you because your nose is closest to you than anybody else. Girl, when I tell you this stuff had my secret out so much, Oh, it had my secret out, but it smells so good. But girl, it was about, I think I had went out with my baby girl and we was out running errands and stuff, you know, typical stuff. And when I got home, I I, I took, you know how you raise your arm up and you take your shirt off? You know, you gonna smell that if if it's foul, you take, you raise your arm up. I said, what the hell? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Like what? Girl, I was ripe. Do you hear me? So if you don't put enough of this on, you will be musty. Does it work? I've used it about two weeks now. It works, but you got to put a whole bunch of it on. And I don't like that because I don't like a whole lot of white caked up stuff up under my arm. But now if I'm around the house, 
I, I'll feel comfortable with this. But if I don't put cake it up under my arms, I will be musty. So that's my little spiel for this one. Y'all know I'm always trying natural deodorants. But it works, but you got to cake it up under your arm. Because if you're just putting on two glides and you think you're going to be good, girl, you're going to be musty in a couple of hours. So that's no-go for me. But my other deodorants, my holy grails, y'all know my holy grails. Native, especially if you're trying to go natural. Wait a minute now. Shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh Excuse me. I thought something was crawling on me. But listen, if you're in between trying to go to natural, I highly recommend Native. And my favorite scent is the cucumber one and, and uh, the coconut and vanilla. Because y'all know I love vanilla. But it smells really good. But the thing of it is, when you're trying to switch between aluminum deodorant, which is my Dove. Y'all know I love Dove, the Cool Essentials. It smells like cucumbers. This is my holy grail when I'm out and about, whatever. But when I want to just give my arm a break, I use the Native. Y'all tell me if y'all have used um, Native, what's y'all experience? I know a few of y'all said Native didn't work for you guys. And that's what I'm saying. You got to be willing to try different ones because... I was trying this one with so much hope, but girl, it had me musty. But it's okay though, cause it was it was three bucks. It was on clearance, so I, I I tried it. And then my next tip is, like I just said, make sure you're putting on enough deodorant. You may you may be you 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 may not be putting on enough. See, here's the thing: when you start getting in tune with your body, you'll learn the things that don't work and and work for you. That's why you got to experiment. This is an experiment with these, with this smell good stuff. And then the third tip is make sure you keep some kind of freshen up wipes in your purse. Because throughout the day, sometimes you sweat, even in the wintertime, sometimes you sweat. Spe excuse me, especially if you got all them doggone layers. That's why I, I love that we ain't had no snow so far. Because I hate layering. I, I, rather, I would rather layer than to put on a big coat because I just can't be cute with with you know a big old coat so i layer but when you're putting on layers honey you sweat these little things right here are a dollar at the dollar tree they call freshen up on the go you can use these you can use baby wipes you can you can even get deodorant wipes from walmart but if you own a really cheap girl budget get these they're a dollar they work good freshen up ain't nobody gotta know what you're doing freshen up you guys see that's the thing when I was a kid, I used to think, you know what? Mama said, when we put these clothes on, we better not come in the house changing no clothes two or three times a day. So we were stuck with what we had on, but we were walking around sweaty and musty because we were scared we was going to get a whooping, you know. <laughs> you know, back then, you know, they ain't play. You know, you get them elm switch, twist them up together. Y'all comment below if y'all got whoopings with stitching cords and, and elm switches. My mom and daddy used to twist the switches together. Better yet, they used to make you go out and pick your switch. And if you came in the house with too little of a switch, they make you go back out and pick another one. So you had them little bumpy things on them elm switches. And if they couldn't get them, they had an old raggedy stitcher cord. So yeah, your girl got her behind tore up a few times. And then the next tip is um, when you sweat, like if you wear something like a blazer, you can take a panty liner and put it on the inside of your your shirt, especially if you got like on a, a silk, because silk make me sweat all the time. So take the inside of your, I just went and got my blazer and I'm going to show you guys. Because if you a sweater, I don't sweat as much, but sometimes I do, especially like in the one. But this is just a little regular panty liner. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this, and you're going to peel the, the sticky part off, especially stuff that stick really good up under your arm. And you're going to take this and you're going to put it in there like this. Hold up. Hold on. All right. And you see that? And when you put your your sh jacket or your shirt or whatever on when you start to sweat it'll go on that baby wipe instead of going all on your clothes and then you get sweaty and musty and then you can change those panty liners out um you can change those panty liners out 
as much as you want. Ain't nobody got to know what you got up under your arms unless you want to be going around telling people. But if you're a sweater, that's a good tip. My um late um aunt um gave me that tip when I was younger, and I just used to think it was so crazy. But as I've gotten older, it works. So if you're a sweater and you got on something really tight up under your arms, put you a couple of baby wipes in the seam of in the seam of your armpit on your jacket or your shirt. Ain't going about your business. Ain't nobody got to know what you got up under your clothes. And then, too, here's something else that I keep a lot of in my purse. These little feminine wipes from Summer Eves. I know a lot of people say different things, but these, they don't irritate me. I keep these or uh, just plain baby wipes. And they work just as good when you want to go in the stall. You can use them for money your arm or you can use them for your butterfly down there. And just freshen up. Nobody got to know, you guys, what you're doing. It's your business. And my next feminine hygiene tip that every woman must know is drink lots of water. Y'all know I told you, I think this was even before this year even came in. I try to keep this beside my bed full of water or just a cold, cold bottle of water just frozen so overnight it defrosts. But... When I get thirsty, I want to be able to grab for my water. I want to drink as much water as I can. Like, you know, like now I'm doing my fasting. So I'm just drinking a lot of lemon water, stuff like that. So I'm trying to detoxify. Because remember at the beginning of the year, I did my smoothie detox. Now I'm doing fasting. Because I just really got some things that I want to, I want to work out this year. And if the quickest way for you to get your prayer and your breakthrough in... Do a little fasting. Get away from the table a little bit. But this is what I highly recommend. Drink as much water as you possibly can. And water is good for so many things. You can even add fruits in your water. You can add lemon in your water if you don't like to just drink regular water. Drink as much water as you can. It's going to help you with your internal body odor. It's going to help you with your your skin you'll be seeing your skin glowing y'all take it from me y'all know i wouldn't lie to you guys it will have you feeling so right your urine will be clear it won't be that dark dark yellow color that's when you could tell you are hydrated or you need to drink more water look at the color of your urine if it's a dark yellow you're not drinking enough water if it's like medium yellow you need to drink some more water i'm talking about just go for there i'm not telling you to eliminate your wine altogether because you know a girl gotta have a wine but what i'm saying to you is drink as much water as you do other stuff so get at least eight glasses of water i don't know how many i drink a day but i try to drink at least two to three of these and then i drink more water i'm trying my best to just gulk it down and the first thing I want to grab in the morning, that's why I leave beside my bed, is my water because I want to make sure I'm getting water. And when I'm at work, I have a big thing of water by me because the first thing you grab when you work from home, you'll be grabbing snack, You'll be grabbing everything that you don't need because you're at home. But I try to keep this beside my desk so that I can remember to drink as much water as possible. And then my next tip is... Um, when it comes to your feminine hygiene is um, layering your scents. And it all starts in the shower. So I'm going to give you two options. And y'all know, if y'all watch my my haul a couple of videos back, I was talking about this watermelon or guave girl. It's about right here. Y'all can't see it because it's a white bottle, but I can see it like if I hold it up. But it's about right here, girl. This stuff smells so divine. It smells so good. It makes you just don't even want to get out the shower because it smells so good. But you, whatever scent or perfume you're going to wear for that day, start your base with, let this be your last step in the shower. Your favorite body wash that's going to complement whatever scent you got. And then as far as if you got sensitive skin, this is a Target brand. It's um equivalent to... Uh, Evino skin relief body wash because my skin gets a little sensitive in the summer in the winter time because it gets so dry and so it stay irritated so this calms my skin down you guys and so I use this on those days when my skin is it just irritated but lately I've been doing this I've been grabbing this but I wanted to give you guys some options so when you're getting out the shower whatever perfume you're going to use y'all know I always say you cannot go wrong with Vaseline. Vaseline is going to get you right. 
way before they had baby gel oil and all this other kind of oil and all this other kind of stuff, they had good old faithful Vaseline. I get these from my mom because she sends them to me in the box. So I have these all around the house. My kids even said, Mom, we don't need Vaseline for years. Because <laughs> we got a lot. But Vaseline, and I mix it with this right here, the Shea and Cocoa Butter Oil Gel by Johnson & Johnson. You can use this. Mix these two together and spray your favorite perfume and y'all know i done got back on my my way so i've been using this for the last week or so i just go through spells where i want different things so i've been using this as you can tell i've got a little dent in it but i try not to reach for it too much because i'll be trying to save it you guys because it's, it's my stuff so i spray this all in this little concoctions when i um mix these two together and what I do is I, I spray my, I make sure I put that concoction in my, my little points here. This one in between here, behind my ear, on my neck. And then I put, I put it in between my, on the back of my kneecaps and on my ankles. Cause depending on what I'm wearing, it's winter time. So my legs are not really out as much, but when I'm around the house, I still like to smell myself. I like to smell good. And I spray it down in my boobies. <laughs> Sound like I'm talking to my baby, but I spray it with my girls too, because I want the scent to linger. And then another tip is get you some hair and body mist. I'm telling you, I didn't bring mine and I'm not going to stop the video and go get them tired girl. But Get you some hair mist to keep your hair washed at least twice a week or once a week. However way you do your routine with your hair, but that's all a part of your hygiene too. Keep you some hair and body mist. It makes your whole thing come together. And then you just layer your scents like that. And it'll last longer when you have something for the perfume to, to stick to. And then my last and final tip is make sure you are keeping your skin clean and a few things that i've been using and it's not a full skincare routine if you want to see an updated skin routine just leave me a comment below but i do have a skin routine skin routine on one of my self-care routines that i did lately but i've been using as y'all can see it's a little it's about right there it's so good you guys it's really good it's alicia keys um cleanser and you can get this. I'm going to try to leak all the products that I'm talking about below. But I use this. And my Old Faith, I didn't bring it in here. My moisturizer is Pons. And then I follow it up with my Vitamin C and Collagen Face Serum. This stuff have me really glowing, you guys. You can see my face now. But I love this stuff, you guys. And then just my eye cream. Ah! And it's by Elf. It's very inexpensive. Uh, and I just put a little bit under my eye. Because y'all know the older you get, you know, you just want to... You don't want sagging nothing. I don't want sagging nothing. So for those of you young girls out there, don't wait till you my age to start. I mean, I always used to do skincare when I was younger, but I got more serious with it, it towards my late 30s. You see what I'm saying? So start as early. Prevention is key. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't want to make this video too long. Y'all know I could talk about this stuff all day. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you engage with this video. Y'all follow me on Instagram, but I just can't keep up lately. I'm on Instagram, but I haven't been active lately. It's just, it's just hard. So engaging is popping off in the community tabs. That's where I talk to you guys every day. Give you girls um, words of advice, encouraging words. That's where we communicate and have our little chit chats in the community tab. So make sure you hashtag Sunny Squad Two Sunshines to let me know that you are new here so that I can welcome you to the family. Make sure you guys um, welcome the newbies here. We're all family here. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye -bye.